Hey yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Dino and we back with another video full of wild clips from all over the world. Let's hop right into it. The system is using you to manifest what they want. I've been saying this forever. I just saw a girl do a video on this the other day and I figured, fuck, I gotta make another video on this. Manifestation is 100% real. Our thoughts, our collective thoughts, the paradigm thoughts that we all have, it's 100% fucking real. And that's the thing. They harness our energy. They harness us to have these thoughts to create the reality that's going on right now. Don't even get me started on this. This is a fake car here. This is Unreal Engine 5. What they're gonna do is fake you the fuck out on everything. I mean, even what's going on right now, it's bullshit. Or at least some parts are. Maybe what, I mean, how do we fucking know? That's the scary thing right now. It's the same thing that happened in good old 2020. They didn't actually really force us to do anything. They just kept putting the thought processes out there, the thought paradigms, and then we all manifested it. So the more you know, welcome to Earth, people. This is how it is. Peace and love. Yeah, welcome to Earth, people. Half the videos you're going to see over the next few years, maybe even more than that now, are going to be AI and Unreal Engine. And they're going to be indistinguishable from reality. So. Hold on. Tell me that ain't. Tell me. Oh. Mobile phone in 1938. A video phone in 1995. I'm Brad. Brad. Yeah, I don't know about that one. That's a whole bunch of footage of a bunch of like edited videos. Drove around all day and there's not a single job in this town. There is nothing, nada, zip. Yeah, unless you want to work 40 hours a week. <laughs> That's funny. I think most white people and black people are great people. I really believe that in my heart. But I think our system is set up where our politicians, whether they are Republicans or Democrats, are designed to make us not like each other. Mm. I believe that. A smart city is a technologically modern urban area that uses different types of electronic methods and sensors to collect specific data. Information gained from that data is used to manage assets, resources, and services efficiently. That data is used to improve operations across the city. This includes data collected from citizens, devices, buildings, and assets that is processed and analyzed to monitor and manage transportation systems, power plants, utilities, water supply networks, waste, criminal investigations, schools, libraries, hospitals, and other community services. Smart cities are defined as smart both in the ways in which their governments harness technology as well as in how they monitor, analyze, plan, and govern the city. In smart cities, the sharing of data is not limited to the city itself, but also includes businesses, citizens, and other third parties, end quote. In short then, a smart city is a place where everything you do is tracked and managed by the government, including what you do at home. This is possible because almost every single modern home appliance has internet connectivity, not just thermostats. Fridges, microwaves, TVs, cars, and even home entry systems are all connected these days. In other words, smart cities are the dictionary definition of a digital dystopia. Mm. I don't know how y'all feel about that. Cities that monitor everything you do and all your usage of everything to find out how to best serve you and keep everything within a 15 minute radius. I don't know, man.
Stop opening the door, man, and just, it, it obviously wants in or out. Okay, so a lot of the chosen ones have a younger appearance or are attractive in appearance so that they can reach a certain audience of people to heal. It was done by design so that your words and insight will reach the masses. Some people will hate on you for this. Some people will be in enraged and upset that you have this power because beauty and youthfulness is powerful. Being able to appear younger, even operate in a younger energy is powerful. It's also attractive to people who want to learn from you because of your story and what you've been through. Okay, so a lot of chosen ones, a lot of healers either appear younger than their age or if you are younger, a lot of you guys have a more mature energy. So the older people appear younger a lot of times and the younger people don't appear older, but their energy is more mature because of the audience that you have to reach, the people that you have to reach. So if you're ever wondering why you meet somebody who's a healer, who's been through a lot of stuff, you're like, damn, this is the definition of you don't look like what you've been through, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I agree. I agree. This video is not meant to scare you, but if you haven't heard of the Global Smart City Initiative, you need to watch this video. There is a company called Arup Group. They have their own section inside the World Economic Forum website. For 10 years, they have been extremely close partners with a project called C40 Cities. I came across a document called The Future of Urban Consumption in a 1.5 degree Celsius World. This report states that their 2030 C40 city goals are zero kilos meat consumption, zero kilo dairy consumption, zero private vehicles, a maximum of one short flight per person every three years and a seven year lifetime on all electronics. And this is not just some idea. This initiative currently have 96 member cities all around the world and makes up about 20% of the global economy. Do your own thinking and draw your own conclusions. It's a lot to think about. Again, with those smart cities, dude. Remind yourself, you got to stay grounded because we're surrounded particularly by all of those electronics. I don't use the cell phone hardly ever. I'm not exposed to as many things as you are. And I take precautions. You know, I've got the OGs around. I've got uh, the necklace, puts out frequencies. Uh, I've got the shungite in front of the TV, you know. I do as much as I can. I mean, I don't get fanatic about any of these things, but I'm aware, you know. Do whatever you can. Mm. Yeah, you should stay grounded as much as possible. Uh, we're, we're kind of preparing the, the U.S. population, at least, and uh, by extension, the world population and to that reality that there is something there is a presence here and that we need to explain this presence because if they show up and we continue to do what we did before in previous decades and they show up, there will be mass panic. But if you understand that though these are real and we have five years from 2022 or maybe now four years, uh, if they come in 2027 uh, to, to, for, for the U.S. government to prepare the people about what is up there. And in many ways, I think uh, the word got out uh, within the government that they're showing up in 2027 and uh, we better be prepared. And, and if not, there's going to be a lot of explaining to do. Um, and so I think that dialogue has happened within uh, inside the government in certain areas inside the government that we need to prepare. And that's why in 2017, uh, that set a clock of 10 years and why Lou Elizondo uh, earlier in this year said, you know, just find a hobby for five years <laughs> and, uh, you know, it'll all be out in five years. And he said that this year. So that was 2027. Huh. And I would say I've heard 2027 in a kind of an official capacity that I can't reveal. So I think um, I, I would say that people in the government 
are aware of something happening and that there's limited time, uh, a few more years to prepare the people. And that's what's ramping up uh, this acceleration uh, from the previous seven decades of not even acknowledging it to now we, we are acknowledging it at a faster and faster pace. Yeah, I think something's up too because we got all these rich people building bunkers all over the place and uh, they just haven't let us know yet. What are you doing, dude? That's like, it's that close to hitting you. Okay. Pay attention. Top video. Genetically modified wheat. Okay, now she pouring water inside of the bowl. And she pouring water inside of that bowl. Now let's add the salt inside the water. Pay attention to how this look like moving like a serpent too. Just pay attention how it's moving real serpent looking. Now she dicing them up, get a little slice. Genetic modified one and the natural one. Now she put them both in salt water. Pay attention to how the natural one moving. Now pay attention to how the GMO one moving. Ain't this one moving real serpent like, huh? Do y'all see that? Now just imagine what this is doing inside of your body when you eat this. When you eat genetically modified food, this is what it's doing inside of your body. If that number start with four, open up that trash can because now I gotta go. You feel me? We don't fuck with GMO. This one was wild. Let me know what y'all think about this one in the comments. Follow me for more wisdom. Hit that plus button and stay tuned. Mm-hmm. That's some wild stuff right there. Seeing the GMO food moving around all crazy. I couldn't tell if it was edited or not. I don't know, she could be agreeing, she could be disagreeing, you can't really tell right there. All the lakes are man-made folding tanks. A lot of those actually have cities underneath that. Let's talk primary water. So with the water situation, what they're trying to push is that we're running water. And we're not running water, we will never run water because we live on a water planet. And this is actually funny that relates to this whole topic is on Instagram, that's the only video that they actually fact check that I posted up about how we are not out of water. Huh. They said that this is false and that we are out of water. I've never seen any other video other than the nonsense and whatever else. But so that must be what they're trying to move into next. Hmm. But basically what there is, is that it's called primary water. It's water that comes up from inside the earth. If you ever go to like a spring or like a volcano or a creek or a river, you see all that roaring water. It's basically the combination of hydrogen and oxygen coming up from inside the earth to create unlimited new water that does not have pesticides, that does not have sprays, that does not have fluoride. There's no chemicals in it. So what they're going to try to do is, and that's what they're doing right now, is they're trying to say, you know, the lakes are getting low, which all the lakes are man-made folding tanks. So this is a real big one. When you look at a lake, there's 53,000 folding tanks in the United States alone. A lot of those actually have cities underneath that. That's a whole nother topic. What? But, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. So there's, there's, so if you go to like South Carolina, there's a lake with a fence around it and there's uh, the, the military people who are there and there's a city below there. There's all buildings and a lot of stuff underneath there. So 
it's interesting with Lake Mead also being low, there's a city next to it, which it looked like it was completely covered in mud. And that's another one that's right next to the lake. Okay, so dude. Please, dude. But, Dude. Yeah, yeah, you stumbled on. You stumbled on some. <laughs> are these military cities, or are these like something like we don't know about? They would be pretty much kind of like cities you just never knew existed at one time. Ancient right? civilization, and, like ancient civilization. <laughs> to be clear, are you saying are you saying these are active cities that are operating underwater, or no, just... there's probably I don't think there's anybody in there. I think they're. If they're I think what oh, what God. happened was is they put the lake in that spot. To cover up the ruins. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they were thinking. I understood what he was saying. Yep, yep, yep. Definitely really deep meaning to that, but I mean, it does kind of paint it right there in your face, so. In the Bible, it speaks that there's life and death and power in the tongue. Be careful what you say. Be careful what you say. Be careful with the things you consistently talk about because you're inviting that energy and vibration into yeah. your life. Mm-hmm. Is I show speed a reptilian alien? Some people believe that reptilian alien humanoid beings live amongst humans here in our planet and that they occupy high places in our but society. But it is going to bother you because you're human and, and I was human. I am human still. Um... <laughs> Some people also believe that they can shapeshift into normal human beings and into reptilians and that there are a few videos out there that may actually prove this. And the recent, most recent video that's been going around is run from I Show Speed, the greatest live streamer on YouTube. Now, in this video, you can see his eyes shape shift clearly. Something happens there. Really, really yeah, you want a free, free date? Kind of like an Indian girl. That was the first one, right? Yeah, she's pretty. You remember all of them? I've never met Hope he's always scouting girls anywhere he goes. <laughs> 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 I should have watched the 20v1 video. I I don't know, it's pretty weird. It looked like somebody edited in a video into his eyes. So like something different was in the background. Tomorrow I, a doctor come to see you and tell you, look, we have this product that's gonna modify you genetically speaking. And the advantage of that is that you will not be sick anymore and not uh, do not die of some sickness related to viruses. Will you take it? And if yes, or if no, why not? Hmm. Would you? And if no, why not? That is a good question. I like rusty spoons. <laughs> I like to touch them. <laughs> the feeling of rust against my salad finger. I don't even... I don't even know what to think. Coming into this craft, and what are you thinking when you're inside of it? Like, what are you seeing? It's a, um, it's a very ominous feeling because it's. There are no. First of all, everything is one color. It's like a dark pewter color, and there are no right angles anywhere. It's as if somebody took. A, I've said this before. Somebody took a, a model out of and fashioned it out of wax and then heated it just for a short time so everything melted. Everything looks like it's fused together. Everything has a radius of curvature where two uh, items meet. 
it's uh it's a really weird looking thing but um uh there was almost nothing other than a small foldable hatchway that um that looked recognizable everything was uh was really unworldly to pick on it a <laughs> way to describe it so you you get inside this thing and it's designed for something that's much smaller than a human being yeah you can't really stand up till you get to the very center of and it and how tall are you I'm 5'10". And what do you think this was designed for? I'd say something close to half my height. Wow. Hmm. So these little three-foot-tallish creatures. Yeah, and it, the the seats were small, too. I mean, obviously it was made, you know, for something something small. But there is no, like, there's, there's nothing else in there. There's just seats, the reactor, and some of the subcomponents. There's no, there's no control panels. There's no bathroom. There's no, no decorative uh, components or artwork or anything that you would recognize or trim. I mean, it's just a very bare-bones thing. That Bob Lazar stuff, man. I kind of believe all the stuff he's saying, because, like, there are things he was talking about that are now on the periodic table that weren't then, so... Society is too weak. And why? Because of all the technology which is available right now, so you don't need to use your body anymore. I always think about in the in the Stone Ages. Do you think somebody in the Stone Ages had depression? I don't know. Yeah, or even a more modern uh, variation, the Spartans. Do you think they had depression? You know, maybe you are laughing, but all of these groups, they are too busy with their body, they are too busy with activity to be depressed. Yeah, but nowadays, how does the time look? You can sit if you want, from morning to evening, just in front of the screen, and nothing's gonna happen anymore. Hmm, interesting thoughts. That is definitely some pretty wild stuff right there. The fact that AI can do that now. A recent visit to the Crimea Zoo turned into an extraordinary experience for a group of tourists. They witnessed a rare and intimate interaction with a large male lion during their safari tour. As the sightseeing vehicle ventured through the zoo, the lion, weighing over 440 pounds and towering over humans, took a surprising interest in the visitors. Without hesitation, he leapt onto the vehicle, relishing the admiration from the captivated tourists. The lion first made his grand entrance through the driver's compartment, then proceeded to interact closely with each passenger. Some female tourists were frozen in place as the lion paced in front of them. His playful nature was evident when he began to frolic in the driver's compartment, <laughs> licking the driver's head with his rough tongue. After greeting the driver, the lion's antics escalated. He moved from the front to the back of the vehicle, causing screams and nervous laughter among the passengers. The sight of such a powerful animal in close proximity was both awe-inspiring and terrifying. The lion's initial departure was short-lived. He returned to the vehicle, clinging affectionately to one of the female passengers. His jovial mood led him to linger inside the vehicle, easing the tense atmosphere. The tourists began to relax, petting and admiring the lion. However, the lion's playful behavior continued as he climbed onto passengers traversing the entire vehicle to reach a man wearing sunglasses in the back. The man struggled to cope with the lion's vigorous licking. The driver eventually coaxed the lion off the vehicle, but he seemed reluctant to leave, still showing signs of wanting to play. Tourists continued to photograph the memorable encounter. At one point, the lion playfully bit a tourist's clothing, prompting the driver to intervene. Just when everyone thought the adventure was over, 
The lion leaped back onto the vehicle, filling the driver's compartment and continuing his charming antics. Due to safety concerns, some tourists opted to disembark, as the situation, while thrilling, was undeniably intense. Yeah, I mean, it is a big kitty, no matter how fluffy and cute it is. I don't even know what to think about them wanting to put nukes in space and to take out satellites and uh, I don't even know. Isingly built a superpower station with 14,500 mirrors. A scene from a sci-fi blockbuster has become a reality. It is China's superpower station, Tower Molten Salt Solar Thermal Power Station, secretly built in Xinjiang. From the air, this is like a huge silver sunflower field. The scene is very spectacular. Its power generation principle uses 14,500 giant lizard-style heliostats, which keep running after the sun, reflecting sunlight and gathering it to the top of the 593-foot-high extreme heat tower for photovoltaic conversion. And it also has an amazing superpower Daytime through the sun's rays will be heated by molten salt energy storage. Wait until the sun goes down. The release of molten salt storage tanks in the energy continue to support the power station to generate electricity so as to achieve 24 hours of uninterrupted power supply. It provides a staggering 9.8 billion kilowatt of power generation annually. It saves 61,900 tons of coal and reduces the emission of 154,800 tons of carbon dioxide, which is definitely a project that benefits the country, the people, and the environment. What are your views? Please feel free to share your views in the comments. That's uh, awesome looking, and that's really cool. It's kind of wild that those aren't everywhere. That would be horrible. How would you explain that to their family, man? To anyone who believes the moon landing happened, that NASA actually went to the moon, I got some questions for you. First, do you actually believe that this piece of junk right here actually landed on the moon? Let's take a closer look at the moon lander. This seriously looks like cardboard and aluminum foil. If a school kid made this in science class, he wouldn't even get a C. Next question for you. Who is the cameraman for Neil Armstrong's first steps on the moon? Who was taking the picture? <laughs> also, Neil Armstrong's boots. They don't match the footprints made on the moon. How do you explain that one, baby cakes? And I got one more question for you. Remember the moon buggy that they drove on the moon? The go-kart they made so they could drive around the moon. How did it get there? How did it get there? This is what they say landed on the moon. So how did the moon buggy fit in or on this thing? <laughs> now, I'm not saying they landed on the moon or they didn't. I'm just asking the question. Shabadoo, Bushkies! Shabadoo! <laughs> well, that's a lot of good um, proof right there, I guess you could say. <laughs> There's mama and two cubs very close to us. Wow. No. Cool. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> to me, it's like 
everybody's scared of the government, you know what right. I'm saying? Because they killed Tupac and they killed Biggie Smalls. I don't care what y'all say. That's my sin. Who cares? <laughs> um, I'm just letting y'all know. Y'all can be afraid of the government all y'all want to. I've been afraid of the government for 29 years. Y'all ain't telling me I was Jesus, so it's okay. I love you. Don't, 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 you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm just letting y'all know all that afraid of the government stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's dead in my in my life, man, because I, I got I got I got special things to put on people. You know what I'm saying? You no, know, um, but don't get me wrong, I love y'all, you know what I'm saying? If you're gonna be real, be real. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Don't don't get don't 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 don't, don't play no games. This ain't no games no more. Alright? If you're gonna be real, be real, keep it real. When you see my next album, God Made Dirt and Dirt Don't Hurt Baby Jesus, then you're gonna see when 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 when, they, when, when what's really real and what's gonna happen. Alright. The government brainwash our people with the mind control theory. That's what they do. So they make sure our people like it. They keep playing that same song. The same song keep playing. You, program. you start to like it. You start you to get cloned with it. You start to get cloned with it. So then for the clone exists, then it just takes over. It takes over the human body. It takes over the spirit. It takes over the soul. And therefore, behold, that's what you got. We're going to start pointing the finger anyway at all the fake hip-hop shit. Or, when we say the fake hip-hop shit, we talking about the government. Listen, I love the government, man. CIA, FBI, I love y'all niggas. Don't come knocking on my fucking door. I love them, too. They all my children. Keep us safe. Okay, USA. Threatened by us, man. I'm not crazy at all, okay? Nobody's Everybody talking. always saying that dirty is crazy. Dirty is not crazy at all. Dirty just C foresee a lot that a lot of people don't foresee. Yes, the truth though, it really is. Well, oh, that's funny. I wonder what it did to piss off the moose. Breaking news as 215 bodies were just found buried behind a state jail in Mississippi and their families of the deceased were kept completely in the dark. And an investigation revealed that many of these bodies were buried in order to keep the state from looking bad. Some of them were relatives of families that have active missing persons reports and some of them were even families of inmates who were buried without their knowledge. And other grave sites were only identified with a number and a metal rod. And this came to light back in March of 2023 when Dexter Wade was hit by a police officer in his cruiser and they decided to bury the body without notifying the family. And even though an autopsy report that he did in fact have his identification in his front pocket and that identification was given to a lead investigator, the detective claimed to have called and received no answer so they took no further action. This left many grieving families wondering whether their missing loved ones are still alive. And if it's found that their loved ones are in fact buried, they're charging for the removal and proper burial of their bodies. As always, I'll keep you guys updated and follow for more news. That's wild and very upsetting. Like, wow. I, I, what? How can they get away with that? How could they have gotten away with that for that period of time to where it's that many? Uh. Why does not America look like Dubai and Germany and why doesn't America look like Russia and Persia and where the f is the money going? Every single mayor needs to figure out what the f they want to do before I f There should be grapes, turnips, vegetables, everything on the streets every f day for the homeless to eat. You're making us pay for water, you son of a... You're making us pay for grapes, apples, things that God gave us for free. Ha! You will burn in hell when I'm through with you. You will not be allowed in my father's house at all. At all. We deserve free everything at least if you're not going to give us reparations by money give us reparations in fruit
You owe us over $1.5 million. These subsidy checks are... So we are the hoes. And the, the government is our pimp. So since we're not getting mad about them taking that percentage, okay, for taking care of the American people, okay, let's take that billion dollars and give them $2,500 and they should be happy with that because we take care of them. If you took care of us, we'd have free carrots. This ain't no mother game. Y'all owe us money. That's why you killed me as Martin Luther King, because I was coming to get our check. And what I said in my life when I was when I was on pulpit is what I said. I said, I'm coming to get our check. And that was it. I shot my belly. That's what happened. Hmm. He kinda wild. He goes off the deep end there after a bit every time. But you know, a lot of what he's saying is like it's just straight facts. It's real. You remember the video I did on this? If you didn't, I'm not surprised because they suppressed the hell out of it and hardly anyone saw it. But to catch you up, uh, Dexter Wade, his mother filed a missing persons report after he didn't come home. Left one night, didn't come home, and months she spent looking for him, flyers, calling people, calling the police regularly, asking them where he was. What she didn't know is the very night he had left, he had been hit and killed by an off-duty police officer who claimed that Dexter was trying to cross a freeway on foot. And he hit him, and he got taken to the morgue. And at the morgue, they did an autopsy, and they looked at it and found not only did he have his wallet with his ID in his pocket, he also had a prescription bottle and a prescription in his name with his information on it. And yet somehow, police never notified his mother. Even when she called and asked about him, they're like, we don't know what happened to him. And so since no one came and claimed the body, he was taken and buried in a pauper's grave behind a prison. But he wasn't the only one. 215 people have been buried behind a Mississippi jail since 2016. Shallow graves with just stakes and numbers on them. And at least two more of those people were missing sons whose mothers had no idea where they were. And their bodies were just buried in a shallow grave, cast out like so much trash. Now, people around the country and around the world have been demanding answers. And 215 bodies is bad, but you know what's worse? The 215 came from a logbook from 2016. They found another logbook that went back to 2008, and it had 671 more names in it. We're talking about almost 1,000 people who were buried in a field with a stake and a number on it. No embalming, just in a body bag a couple feet deep. They said vultures were circling the area because the stench was so bad. How many people was Jackson, Mississippi throwing away like trash? Community leaders are calling for a federal investigation. And I think that's more than warranted. If you agree with that, you can go to that little thing in my bio that you can touch on and it opens other things. And you'll see one of those things is investigating the 215 bodies discovered behind a Mississippi jail. It's demanding the federal government investigate this and get to the bottom of what's going on. If you agree with that, please, by all means, take about 30 seconds and make that number get bigger. I don't, I still, I, I don't even know what to say. pretty wild this is really cool looking this ufo was filmed over sweden just yesterday after i saw this i found images of another ufo from yesterday but in argentina and it looks exactly the same exactly the same after this video i'll show you those argentina images and then i'll tell you what i think Bushkis.
Now that video was pretty clear. Let me show you the images from Argentina. You see this right here? Let me get closer. Do you see the similarities yet? Cause I do, but let me get even closer. Look at that, look at that. It's identical. It's the exact same thing. Except the previous video was Sweden and these images are Argentina. Both taken on the same day, thousands of miles apart. What do you think of these UFOs, Bushkis? Is this just a coincidence or something else? Let me know in the comment section. Shabadoo! Move along, nothing to see here. No, I think they're really cool and that the fact that they're all looking similar everywhere is even cooler. That's what I think. Oh boy, take a listen to this. A man who was traveling from Bangkok to Germany starts to gush blood from both his mouth and his nose mid-flight. A 63-year-old German gentleman was traveling from Bangkok to Germany with his wife when he boarded the plane feeling unwell. He looked sick and was breathing pretty quickly. Flight attendants asked for a doctor on board and a medic came and evaluated the gentleman. He was spitting up some blood at the time, but was able to take some tea and eventually the flight took off. Mid-flight, things worsened. He continued to cough off blood and then eventually liters of blood came through his nose as well as his mouth. He ended up collapsing and then dying mid-flight. The plane ended up returning to Bangkok where they were met by medical vehicles. Now it's unclear if this is due to a bleed in the lung known as hemoptysis or if this was a cause from the GI tract such as an ulcer, a Mallory Weiss tear or a variceal bleed. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Take care. I don't know, man. That's that's crazy. Dude just starts pouring blood out of his nose and mouth and stuff. Like, I don't know. That sounds like something out of a freaking horror movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Fuck, dude. Fuck, man. Nothing here. Nothing the fuck here. Oh my god, I'm so. Oh my god, look, legit goosebumps. Oh my god. What the fuck is that? Weird. Hey! Ha ha! Corporate greed has got to go! Outside airports across the country today, flight attendants walk the picket lines. Several thousand representing two dozen airlines at more than 30 airports, all with the same message. We've been fighting for contracts for probably two and a half years. The picketing comes at a crucial time for flight attendants who say they've been dealing more frequently with unruly passengers. <gasps> oh my God. And feel underappreciated for the times they perform potential life-saving measures, like when the door recently blew off this Alaska Airlines jet. Hey, hey. Tim Green has been an Alaska flight attendant for more than 20 years. When was the last time you got a raise? Last significant raise for us was back in 2018. Yes. Before all the increase in prices and everything. Before everything started to skyrocket and yes, inflation went nuts. Most flight attendants have a starting salary of just $27,000. The median mm. salary is 63,000. The demand for a pay raise comes after pilots negotiated between 35 and 50% salary hikes. And as airlines last year posted a combined $10 billion profit. And most domestic flight attendants don't even earn their hourly wage until the boarding door closes. About 45 minutes to an hour, working with the passengers, getting everybody seated, dealing with all the problems. Mm -hmm. And you're not getting paid for we're that? We're not getting paid, but we're required to be there. That's why. Since no one walked up. So yesterday, the Republicans voted incredibly narrowly to impeach Secretary of Homeland Security, Alejandro Mayorkas. What exactly does that mean? And first, the answer is in practical terms, it means nothing. He's not going to be actually convicted in the Senate. There is no shot that he is going to be convicted in the Senate. Why impeach Alejandro Mayorkas without actual high crimes or misdemeanors? The reason is because if these are the new rules, they apply to everyone evenly. And we should all recognize that if we want to go back to status quo ante, if we want to put the cat back in the bag, 
then we cannot have a situation in which Democrats get to impeach Republican officials for not high crimes and misdemeanors. And then Republicans will only impeach for high crimes and misdemeanors. Mm. Mm. All right, I got one more. Have you all seen what's going on with this national security threat? And apparently Russia wants to put nuclear weapons into outer space to use them against satellites. Honestly, I think there's a lot more going on here. I think that's just a cop out. I think it's a way to keep the American public feeling safe. So I'm going to tell you what I think is really going on. And I have proof. Honestly, I think it's pretty scary. Did you know that the Soviet Union was one of the first to introduce the idea of putting nuclear weapons above the atmosphere? Back in 1962, it's called the Fractional Orbital Bombardment System. And the idea is to detonate nuclear bombs above the atmosphere, and they become a EMP. Uh, what's an EMP? It's an electrical magnetic pulse, and it will really mess up our entire world down on Earth. That would screw up satellites, anything electronic. It would really cripple us as a nation. Now, I think that's what's honestly happening, and that's what the actual threat is. What do you think is actually happening? Please drop a comment. No, yeah, I think they're trying to kill our electric system, kill our uh, power grid, kill our ability to communicate by taking out the internet and all that. I think that's what they're trying to do. I don't know what you guys think. Anyways, that's another video for the archives. Thank you guys for hanging out and stopping through. Go ahead and do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe, go ahead and hit the notification bell so that you know whenever I'm uploading a new video. I hope everyone's doing well. I want you to have a great rest of your day, morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever it might be for you. Until next time, peace.